Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 28 of the Forks Over Knives Challenge. So I am actually very excited about trying this recipe that I'm making for you guys today. It is a mushroom stroganoff. I, so I stopped eating beef when I was 13. Um, I've never really eaten pork, although I used to really like Canadian bacon. I just couldn't eat it very often. I didn't eat regular bacon, but Canadian bacon uh, on pizza because um, I'm actually allergic to pork. It makes me like break out in hives and itch super lots. Same with, with uh, shellfish. I haven't had that in a very, very, very long time since I was a child, actually. Um, so having um, like a, mush a beef stroganoff was never something that I, I mean, I have, I can't remember when I had something like that, except I did used to make um, like ground turkey stroganoff and that I thought was very, very good. I really enjoyed it. So I'm really excited about making this recipe and seeing if it's somewhat similar. Um, although I don't really remember what it tasted like before. I just remember being rich and creamy and stuff. And I think that this is gonna be rich and creamy. So two things. So there's a recipe for mushroom stroganoff and you need to make sour, sour cream to go with it. So the tofu sour cream recipe that's in the book is right, is that one? Yeah, that one right there. So that's super, super easy. Um, it does call for a 12 ounce package of tofu. The ones that we get are 16, so no big deal. I'm just gonna cut a quarter of it off and stick it back in the fridge, no problem at all. Um, and then I need a tablespoon of lemon juice and a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. So that is like ridiculously easy. It does say salt to taste. I'm not gonna worry about that part. I'll put some salt in the mushroom stroganoff if I think that it needs it, not too worried. So that's gonna go in a blender and just sit next to my stove um, until I'm ready to put it into the mushrooms after it's done. Okay, so moving on to the actual recipe itself. Um, it kind of looks like there's a lot of ingredients here, but there really aren't, it's really not that bad. So there are the ingredients and the instructions. So I am, <laughs> as a staple, I am gonna kind of cheat a little bit on this. Um, so the first thing that you're supposed to do is chop up some shallots and um, cook those. I'm going to do that, that's not a problem. Um, and then after that, you add some garlic and some minced thyme and salt and pepper to taste. Okay, no problem. Um, actually, I think that you do the, when do you add the rosemary? Oh, okay, so you add the shallots, garlic, thyme, let that cook. And then you're supposed to have one pound, yes, one pound um, of portobello mushrooms. So I actually only have eight ounces of mushrooms rather than a pound, so I'm going to cut this recipe in half. I'm going to make all of the sour cream though, just in case that I decide I wanna put a little bit extra in there to make it really, really creamy, I'm gonna do all of that. But if I don't put it all in there, that's absolutely fine. I probably won't, but um, it does call for portobello mushrooms cut into pieces. Um, this is the cheating part. I'm just going to use chopped up mushrooms. <laughs> um, I get that maybe a portobello mushroom would have a little bit more flavor. Maybe it'd be a little bit more of an umami flavor to it. I'm not gonna be too worried about that, to be honest with you. Um, and the other thing that I'm cheating on is it does call for porcini mushrooms, which are the ones that are typically dried and I, I'm pretty sure I do have some, to be honest with you. I don't feel like letting them soak for half an hour. I don't feel like chopping them up because they're very, very rubbery once they come out of the water. They're very hard to chop. So anyways, I'm just gonna skip that part. And again, maybe that won't make it quite as uh, stroganoff-ish rich flavor, but that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm letting you know. And if this doesn't turn out quite as well, then it might be, that might be part of the reason. Um, so you cook those things um, actually for like quite a while, I think, like 20 minutes. Yeah, it was some um, dry white wine. So then when you're done, you mix your noodles in and you serve it with some parsley and life is good. Um, I do have some fettuccine noodles, some brown rice fettuccine noodles. So I'm going to cook up, I'm just gonna cook half a package of those. I don't need the whole package. Um, I mean, that's enough for me for an entire day for two separate meals worth of food because I'm gonna eat all of the mushrooms myself. So, um, so anyway, that's it for me for now. I'm going to go get to cooking and I'm going to come back and show you how the wonderful this is and we'll do a quick taste test. Um, I think that it's going to taste delicious and I don't think it's going to be any problems with the lack of, um, I might put a little bit of the salt in the recipe that it calls for, like just to sprinkle over the top simply because I'm going to leave out some of the mushroomy flavor. So there you go. I'm gonna go cook and I will see you guys again soon. All right guys, so before we do a taste test of this, I need to let you know that I was a little concerned about putting just straight up salt in here because um, if you put like half a teaspoon of salt in there, you're gonna get 1200 milligrams of sodium and that's a lot. So, and I, it doesn't, yes, it brings out the natural flavor in food, but it's not really, uh, salt and stuff just for the sake of salt really doesn't do much for me. So I added, I measured it, half a teaspoon of the Better Than Bouillon No Beef Base. 
um, because that one is very much an umami flavor, very, very rich. Um, and it has 325 milligrams of sodium when you use half of a teaspoon. So, or maybe it's 312, whatever, like 300, a little over 300 milligrams of sodium. So that's what I decided to do because I think that that will actually work out much better. Um, so yes, so I added, when I was cooking the shallots is when I put that in there. So I cooked the shallots and added that and then started adding the rest of the ingredients. So this smells wonderful. My, oh my goodness, it smells so good. I took a little forkful of it. I haven't tried it yet, but so that's what it looks like. Very pretty, although it's not very, uh, photogenic. That's okay. It's very, uh, mono, monochromatic. It's the same color. Mm. Mm. Holy cow, that's good. Ooh, that's really good. I like that a lot. I'll have no problems eating the rest of that. Yum. Okay. Well, that's awesome. That turned out real well. So I'm going to go, um, I actually would totally recommend making the full amount of this recipe because yeah, that's very good. Um, it was a little bit loose towards the end. So I ended up cooking it for a little bit longer. You could totally add a pinch of flour to it and whisk it in there to get that to thicken up. If you didn't want to be patient and wait for it to, um, finish letting some of the liquid go, uh, that would totally be something I would do. That's why I would suggest it. But Anywho. All right, I gotta go get ready for work and I will see you guys tonight for some exercise. All right, everybody. So let's talk about this mushroom stroganoff. Like everybody that tried it thought it was awesome. That's only three of us, but still all three of us that ate it or tried it thought it was awesome. I left a little tiny bit home in a little bowl for my husband to try and he had it and said it was really good. And um, my technician at work who does not like mushrooms at all and I keep pushing food on her that she's like, bless you, that she's not 100% sure whether or not she's going to like um, and she does not care for mushrooms and she tried it and she's like, oh my gosh, that's fabulous. So anyways, that was a really good recipe. I would totally recommend that. Um, and I'm not exercising today. I feel so guilty when I tell you guys that I'm not going to exercise, but I'd rather tell you that I'm not and then tell you I am and then don't. So, um, yeah, I don't feel like it. So there you go. I'm not going to, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Waited up to see my, um, oldest son is off to his first school dance type thing so chatted with him for a little bit before he was gonna go and do his thing and i'm gonna go to bed and it's like seven o'clock so there you go i'm really tired anywho i hope you guys had a great day and i will talk to you again tomorrow